changed person. That's good. I did not have sexual relations with that man. Talk I'm else. just kidding. I did. Possibly. I'll All be right. honest. All right. Plan A was, and I will say candidly. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he had me mixed feelings. I know what. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? You know what I'm saying? Welcome to TGI, man. You know why we here. Turn that kind of back to another reaction, man. Today we had, to, they tried to expose him with one photo. Sketch. My dog, Sketch. We, we love Sketch. We love Sketch. Last video I did, we reacted to part of what had happened. I didn't react to the re uh, apology. I'm going to see what this is. I know this is Jamari. So let's see what they talk about. His success stories from the last year has been a live streamer named Sketch. The speed at which this dude blew up is like some. Also, like, I ain't going to lie. Do y'all see that? Like, y'all, it's, it's across the room. It's across the room. Oh, y'all don't see it? Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. I got a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, part of it is like Mandarin appreciated for asking, man. Yeah, no, that is crazy on the wall. It's it's a crazy little thing. Like, like it's it's crazy. I don't know if y'all see it. It's on that wall. It, it's, it's probably a bug or something, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Lock in. I'm yapping. I'm yapping. But like the thing on Matt, it means in Mandarin, it means a failure is the mother of success, and failure is the mother of success, bro. You know I gotta put some inspiration. But the other one is my birthday. It's probably not. This is a W tattoo, man. It's a W tattoo. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a daily reminder, being the best version of, version of yourself that you could possibly be, man. Keep working, keep grinding for yourself. If something, if, if a failure happened, bro, it's all right, it's all good. Just get back up and keep trying, man. Seen in a very long time. He went from streaming in his bedroom to announcing NFL draft picks. With the 123rd pick of the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select Cade Stover. This is just one of many opportunities this man has afforded himself. Now, I think I might just be a little bit too old to understand his movement online, and I just don't really spend my free time watching live streams like How that. But from what I have man? seen about him, this is a drama free person. Up. I've never really heard anyone speak bad. How old is Jamari, man? Because people be calling me, okay, I'm just 20. You don't understand the last time I went to a pool party, how hard I wanted to backhand a kid for. Bro, it was crazy. It was crazy. Because, bro, I only, bro, you act like I'm 30, bro. I'm 20. I am 20 years old, bro. And then I just, I just realized that it was a little nigga. It was a little nigga. He was about like, See, like he was like in middle school or something. I was like, all right, you got it. You got it. You got him or anything like that. He seems to vibe with whoever he has around. And overall, he seemed like someone just trying to do his own thing who happened to blow up. Aaron Hernandez, the highest KD in NFL history. Where's that bitch at? Sorry for cussing. But now someone has attempted to come forward and damage the career of this man, and it all has to do with his past. As someone exposed him for making content on adult websites that appears to be clearly aimed at other men. We didn't even know it, but this dude was the original Huck Tua, or whatever the f*** those Facebook people love right now. I will say, I think some people would be surprised about what some of their favorite content creators, rappers, actors, and really what anyone who's involved in the entertainment industry is doing behind closed doors. One of my favorite rappers, Isaiah Rashad, was actually exposed in this way in a very similar fashion a couple of years back. And it is sad because when these type of things go public, especially with a visual, Obviously, it can lead people to do horrible things to themselves. Man, and when this stuff what? did get leaked, thankfully, he received a lot of support online. To be honest, bro, I don't give a f**k. Y'all shouldn't give a f**k. That's, that's the past. Why y'all bringing up old shit? <laughs> Anybody that wants to stop f**king with Sketch or you lost respect for Sketch or you don't want to support Sketch anymore, to be honest, just don't support me either. Hey, man. I'm rocking behind Sketch. Yeah, I'm not about to bully my homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm a straight man. He could be whatever the f he want to be, but that's my homie, and I'm rocking behind him. But he did also receive a lot of hate from other streamers. Every time, nigga. Fuck the f nigga. What, nigga? It's not about you being gay, gang. 
It's about you not telling nobody <laughs> and hiding it and coming a whole different alias like you're a new person. That's not cool, bro. Of course, Adam 22, me. What is his? Uh, no, no, no. I'm always spread positivity. Now, I don't know what was. Why is it? Why was they so mad? Because they don't know what the fuck business they it's none of y'all damn business bro i don't know what else to say y'all 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 tweaking out bro if let whatever bro got going on behind bro y'all act like you gotta tell everybody bro people is mad parasocial this generation and it's actually sad it's crazy it's crazy like bro leave bro alone man i was looking for his next collab and one of the biggest people who support him is actually faze banks who posted not everything needs to be broadcasted and farmed but since y'all want to jump to crazy assumptions sketch told me to post these receipts sketch was my homie yesterday he's my homie today he'll be my homie tomorrow you guys are fucking weirdos while also sharing these text messages between the two of them. So Banks says, you awake? I'm sorry, bro, I didn't mean to involve y'all. Bro, what do you mean? You're our boy, you didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro, you good? I'm over by the airport, I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. So obviously this was probably like doomsday for Sketch. I'm sure he always knew that there was a possibility that this would one day come out. And he would even admit later that he pretty much thought that his life was over. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. And I guess that's when Sketch returned. And so it is good to see the community have his back in this way. Sketch would actually boot up his stream and immediately address everything, admitting it was him and saying that he changed from that time in his life. Elephant in the room. I got a haircut. Wasn't planning <laughs> on doing this today, but I guess so. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this. Open and honest. That was me. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. That's good. I did not have sexual relations with that man. Talk I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. I'll All be right. honest. All right. Plan A was... <laughs> and I will say candidly. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He had me mixed feelings. I know what... Alright. That's a W though. We, he, he, he's speaking his mind. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he talking his talk. That's what you gotta do, man. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. But respect, bro. I wanna see his chat. Bro, and I swear it better be all positive. Was to probably eat a, eat up. Well, probably to call it quits if this ever came out. But some people saved me. Shout out Banks. Shout out my parents. Like, shout out y'all. Like, I fucked up, but I'm changed. So it's good That's for this good. man that he can now live in his truth. I really do think he handled the situation well. Of course, he did have people like Sneeko who were extremely upset by Sketch. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. Nigga, no, he wasn't. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. Two years ago, he was taking it up the ass and getting paid for it. I don't. One of those genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. What a crazy thing to keep secret. Five years ago, I talked about, like, regrettably going to a swinger party and made jokes about it. To this day, they still bring it up. They're like, fuck, Stinko's a, Stinko's Stink. I mean, you can't really act like it's the same thing when one person willingly exposed themselves. It was missionary. <laughs> missionary <laughs> legs off. It like, missionary legs, legs off. up? Legs up, yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's such a, oh, no. Is he, was he staring at her? Like, dude, this is not the same. All right, Sneeko, you got it. You yeah, like deep eye contact. You got oh, it, but no. deep eye contact. Yeah. Deep. And the other clap just it up, clap, it up, clap it up for Sneeko. He got it. He got it. He got it, I guess. The biggest, darkest secret right. come to light, and it was not their choice. I saw all these people who have never said a word about Palestine. They don't say a word. Sketch takes it up, and everyone says, You're the best person ever. I just don't really understand when a supposedly straight man spends this much time thinking about gay people. Like on one hand, he's constantly saying that gay people should be ashamed and that they are a detriment to society. And then on the other hand, he calls this guy a fake coward for not being transparent about a part of his life he seems very ashamed of. Keep in mind, this is the same man who has grifted his way through the last couple of years. And I had to actually scrub the entire internet to find this next clip, but I think it really does explain Sneeko's growing anger towards the gay community. Not, no, but like, like when I was like 14, yeah. I thought I was gay, I watched 
Imagine if ChatGPT and Canva had a baby. That's Crazy a great thoughts. AI. It's the only generative Crazy AI designed thoughts. for adversity. Watch it. It's not for me. Bro, I went to I went to a gay nightclub with my gay friends. Like I went to go visit my friend in Massachusetts, like let's go to a club. It was a gay club, I'm not complaining. But I saw a muscular dude twerking glitter off of his back. And I know that I'm not gay. And while I was editing this video, I had to have stumbled upon what has to be the most ironic tweet of all time. In fact, he was way more up in arms about this situation than he was when the stuff about Dr. Disrespect being a weirdo came out. Like, he was in full support of that creep. Dr. Disrespect, text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds! He's the worst person ever! Why? And by the way, guys, that age was never verified, but he did admit it was a minor when it got into the grounds of inappropriate. Sneeko just seems to say these things because it makes his pronouns argument dude, sound better dude in his- Dude, the king of rage bait. What is he talking about? What's going on? What's going on, bro? The age of consent is maturity. It's the age of puberty, once the body is mature. But I guess what should you expect when this is your mentor in life? Uh, it's just because we have a different idea of what it means to be a child. The general principle in Islam is, you know, you can do what you kind of want, so long as, I'm not going to say you can do what you want so long as you're harming. You can do, you can marry whomever you want to marry, so long as it doesn't cause them harm, physical and psychological. So we would say that, well, if you, if you were to be intimate with a 14-year-old or, you know, 13-year-old who's got huge hips and huge breasts and huge body, I, I mean, quite frankly, we would say, hey, this is your pal if you, if you go for the girl that's got the hips. And once again, people... It's very relative. I mean, I'm not going to claim that this guy's sketch is some sort of superhero, but I am glad that he got through this without harming himself. That's like, you just saying, know, bro. as he got more and more famous, he wondered if bro, and when this. You don't understand how strong you are, gotta be to as a human being to turn a negative situation into a positive, especially when it goes to extremes of situations like this. Not everybody know what everybody is going through, and not everybody is internet influencers, entertainers, motivators. You know what I'm saying? They didn't change or people don't look up to them or it's not as many people looking up to them as certain uh, certain people. I hope y'all get what I'm saying because I'm not repeating myself. I ain't going by with Sketch. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot. You know what I'm saying? He did blow up quick. quick. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Bro was over here announcing the NFL draft, which is crazy. But bro may not be used to that fame and attention, bro. So imagine having like a portion of the world, no, say 5% of the world, because say 5% of the world just attacking you for one thing you did in the past, bro. Like what the, f bro, you gotta be a different type of, you need help, get it, find it, please. I'll send you it, it's no way. I don't know, man. Tim would jump out of his closet. Like he even mentions having this dark past. There was a time last year and I just like, but had a prayer where I was like, I want to be happy, I want to travel, and I want to meet people. And God answered me like crazy, like, really? Yeah. Wow. And you really were pray praying that? Yeah. No, he humbled me, for sure. It should serve as a lesson, though, too, that you really do have to be careful about doing this type of explicit work online because it can definitely come back to harm you. And in this instance, moving forward, this will definitely take some opportunities from him. And that would be the case whether these videos were of him having relations with a man or a woman. It's really just the way it is when someone has that type of material of themselves online. But I do want to know what you guys think about this entire situation. I feel like niggas need to hop off his meat. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the only way for it. That's the only way to it. Make sure y'all stay best. Make sure y'all stay iconic, bro. And I'm gonna catch y'all.